In this After Effects tutorial, I'll show you how to create a collage-style animation. I bet the word collage has a French origin. It means you use all kinds of different materials for animation, like videos, pictures, textures, illustrations, and so on, and throw them together to create something nice. To keep production costs low and stuff like that, I am my own hand model for this. Hey everyone, my name is Manuel, by the way. Let's quickly film this. Some light? A white wall, kind of, and I use my iPhone to film. Awesome, Hollywood, here I come. First of all, let's quickly create the background though. We add a new solid, Command Y if you use a Mac, otherwise Control and Y. We name it Background. Color doesn't matter. First of all, we add fractal noise. You see effects and presets window to search it, we add it. Set contrast to 1000, brightness to minus 300. Then. We animate the evolution with an expression. Time, asterisk, 1000. Next, we add noise. Amount, 10%. No color noise. Then, CC ball action. Grid spacing 5, ball size 30. Finally, we reduce the frame rate, add posterized time, 4 frames per second. Awesome, that's the background. Creating smooth and organic animations is one of the most important skills to have as a motion designer. Learn how to use the tools After Effects provides to adjust the time and the path your shapes take. Learn different techniques and principles to give your objects the illusion of gravity, weight, mass, and flexibility. Simply adding easy ease to your keyframes is not enough. For this mini course, I went through my 20 years of experience to filter out the most valuable tips, tricks, and techniques for you. Knowledge that instantly improves your work. Smooth Animator is your kickstart into smooth and organic animations. Link is in the description. Next, let's create a piece of paper. With no layer selected, we use the pen tool and draw a roughly square shape. Let's name the layer paper, obviously. No stroke and a solid fill color. The color doesn't matter. Then we add some effects to work on the edge. The first one, turbulent displays. Displacement, twist, amount, 10, size, 30. Complexity, 1. Then we add roughing edges. Order, around 12. Complexity, 10. Now let's work on the fill. We add turbulent noise. Which is basically the same as fractal noise. Noise type, block. Contrast, 125. Brightness, 65. In transform, we scale it up to around 900. Complexity, 1. Then we offset the turbulence until we find a nice fold. I think this looks good. Next, let's add some noise again. Amount, around 20%. No color noise. To be able to rotate it with all the effects, we need to pre-compose it. We right-click on the layer and pre-compose it. Let's name it Pre-Paper. Now, everything rotates with the layer. Next, 
Let's add a grid to the pre-curve. We add grid. Size from width slider. Width around 80. Order to opacity around 25. And we set the blending mode to multiply. Of course, we need the color to be dark to see the grid. Finally, we animate the rotation with a wiggle expression. Wiggle 0.5,3 in parentheses. 0.5 times per second, the rotation wiggles 3 degrees in both directions. I've added the hand to my comp. It opens and closes. We want it to be visible only on the paper, so we use the paper as alpha track mat for the hand. We need to make the paper visible again. Next, instead of keying it, we set the blending mode of the layer to multiply. The texture of the wall is added to the texture of the paper, which is awesome. Not bad. But let's add some effects. First of all, we add black and white. To make the hand black and white. Next, we add curves and increase the contrast. Darken the dark areas, add slightly more brightness. Now, let's add Gaussian Blur. Blur in S10, we deselect repeat edge pixels. Finally, we add CC Ball action again. Grid spacing, 3, ball size, 65. The hand now has a slight pixel look. Finally, let's add the globe. With no layer selected, we double click on the ellipse tool. We name the new layer, globe. Then adjust the size to 300 by 300 pixels. No stroke? Let's use the radial gradient as fill. With the two colors, cyan and blue. We adjust the start and end. Then we add an effect, posterize. And set level to 12. That's like color bending on purpose. Let's position the globe above the hand. Next, we add turbulent displays. Amount 10, size 200. Then we animate the evolution with an expression. We reduce the frame rate for this property, posterize time, and for in parentheses, semicolon. Then time asterisk 1000. Awesome. Now let's animate the start and end of the gradient fill as well. We add an expression to the start point. Reduce the frame rate again, posterize time, and for in parentheses, semicolon. Then, wiggle in 1,25 in parentheses. We copy the expression and add it to the endpoint property. If you want the gradient to move more, replace 25 with 50, for example. Now the points move 50 pixels in each direction, from the start point. Awesome! Finally, we need to scale the globe up and down. We open the scale property, 
Before we scale it, let's move the anchor point to the center of the bottom edge. You set scale to 0 at 12 frames. Add a keyframe. At 1 second, the hand is open, we set it to 100%. We set another keyframe at 3 seconds. And 12 frames later, we set it back to 0. We open the graph editor and choose the value graph. Let's slow down the beginning. We use the convert vertex tool to drag the handle to the right. We slow down the end. Then we drag the left handle of the second keyframe above the endpoint to add an overshoot. We slow down the beginning and add an overshoot. The same at the end. To learn more about the graph editor and smooth animations, check out my new mini course, Smooth Animator, to learn how to create smooth and organic animations. Link is in the description. On the left side, I've added a video you might like. Thanks for watching this one. See you in the next one. Bye, everyone.